Okay, here we are with a Patreon run. We're going to be doing No Half Nod again. We haven't done a No Half Nod in a while. I'm not 100% sure what the best No Half Nod build is because I don't play No Half Nod very often. I do think that having rifles and wheels is good. I am curious if I should play... I actually might... It might be correct to play Laser and Scavenger, which is weird. But honestly, it might be the right way to go because you play lasers and scavengers. Um, you have laser because they're actually good and efficient. And then you have scavenger. Scavenger is your harvester, basically. So you are down one pop cap on your scavenger, just like your opponent is down one pop cap on the harvester. The problem with that, of course, is that at, at that point, you are. Like, your harvester is just worse than your opponent's harvester. Like, you're going to make a lot less money off of your harvester. Which is why nobody nobody does it. It's why no scavenger is not very popular. Um, but I guess your your harvester is also a combat unit of sorts, so there is some value in that. Opponent playing level nine bikes. Well, now I just feel bad. He's also double half. If he just does nothing, he's got a tick tank. That's not good for me. If he just does nothing and like makes a tech unit, there's not a lot of tech units you can beat with no half. See if we can get some cheeky bike hits in as well. Nope. It's not like an MLRS where you have time to go in and out. We got loads of money. I'm gonna make a Giga Cannon. Apparently Suzaku used to run Giga Cannon as a payoff for no hard nod, so I decided I'd try that out. Seems like it's gonna be pretty good here. Like he's playing, he's playing tic tanks. He's gonna get wrecked. All right, I'm rich and I've won the game. Feels good, man. The the venom's being level nine definitely helps. Just build a Lego mattress. <laughs> but then, what if they steal the Lego mattress? All right, gotta remember not to make a harvester. My default is always to make a harvester first in every game of Rivals. So even when I'm playing no harv, I, I always like, I have to actually think about it to not make a harvester. And I'll tell you what, for no harv, bikes are really expensive. This is one of the huge problems with no harv. You can't even just like have a nice little bike mirror because you will, you will lose the bike mirror after like two bikes, you're just out of money and that's it, you're done. So you really have to leverage your cheaper units to get some value so like your scavengers your lasers your rifles that kind of stuff you really have to leverage them hard if you want to make any uh, any progress with no half all right this is fine if he kills my bikes i get 20 so that's like not bad actually would like him to kill my bikes now if you could hurry up and do that if you and get a buggy i guess I can't really afford to lose my scavenger because it is my harvester. <laughs> yeah, it's just so, just so broke all the time. I've not managed to get some money back from that. No harm is even harder than I remember. Let's make the Giga actually. Let's try, and, let's try and get the Giga to do something. That old classic no harm Giga deck. Well, our scavengers are all dead, so that's it. That's all our money for the game. And this is just this is just so bad. It's easy to forget just how bad this is until you play it again. What are you doing, Bikes? Man, Banshee makes this so much harder. 
Banshee is such a like actually incredibly efficient unit. It's so good for 30, like fighting it is really difficult without a harvester. You are victorious. But flames and flames and laser flames and shocks are way too difficult to fight. I think I should be opening riflemen as well. Makes it easier to get into the scavengers. Okay, we're getting our money back on our rifles at least. Yeah, I think barracks opening is better for no half. I need to not make the buggy as often. I'm making buggy too much. I need to be making wheels instead. Wheels are way more efficient. You got a lot of money here. I don't really pay off anymore though because I cut the Giga Cannon. I have nothing to do with my extra money. I guess I can make um, I can make a Seth with my extra money. That's pretty much it. I actually have so much money right now. <laughs> Oh, those flamers are getting clapped. What the hell? Those did not do well at all. They got completely destroyed. It was not remotely close. Laser and scavenger actually seems okay to me. Like, having access to lasers who are so much more efficient than scavenger, I think is actually pretty good. This guy looks like he's dead. We also have infinite money on this game. This this definitely felt like a better strategy overall than what we were doing before. Objective complete. What is Three, two, one. New objective received. Whoops, I meant to open uh, barracks. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to beat Raging Tron though, not with no half. He's a pretty good player. I wonder if he's playing Zone Trooper build, build still. We can't really beat Razorback is a problem. That is a unit that is going to exist in uh, in his deck. And is not really remotely beatable. Yeah, he sees the scavenger so he's just not fighting anything. He's going to wait till he has a Razorback. Which is going to absolutely ruin me. Because it's going to kill... It'll easily smash the scavengers. Like they won't stand a chance against it. There it is. Wow, he really does not want to hurt my rifleman. He's like incredibly cautious about giving me any money at all. I would say overly so. What oh, damn scavengers are useless? Yeah, it's just too, it's just you can't really beat the units. Like, I'm just out of money. It's completely done. 
Can't make anything anymore. And he just makes us a parade of Razorbacks. Yeah, it's unwinnable. It's, it was close, it was close, but it's unwinnable. It was kind of close in that last one, but like the absolute refusal to engage my units ever makes it almost impossible to win. <laughs> like, because I really have to get some money from the scavengers. If you just sit back, do nothing, make free Razorbacks, that's obviously, I obviously can't win. Well, no half GDI is much better than no half Nod. Much better. Because they have MG, and MG is a dramatically more powerful unit than anything, no, anything Nod has access to. Yeah, this this matchup is also unwinnable. No half MG is just way better than no half Nod, because MG is is just much better than anything Nod can do. And the correct thing to do, actually, in this spot would be to make a harvester. Uh, yeah, the correct thing to do would be make a harvester and just play play my deck, but with a harvester against him. Uh, like if I was playing on ladder or something, that is 100% what I would do. But since we are playing specifically no harv, although having said that, he did let us get at two. He did let us get at two of his MGs, so now maybe we win. Like that's pretty that's pretty tough for him. He doesn't want me to he doesn't want me to get at two of his MGs. That is pretty bad. Pretty bad if you're the MG player. I think we're gonna win here. We really shouldn't win this ever. Like this, this matchup is terrible. The only way I won is because he uh, he didn't block my early buggy from hitting his first MG. MG getting set up should be game over for no half nod. All right then, surprising outcome. You hate the MG unit. Everybody hates the MG unit. Definitely think the barracks opening is way better. The barracks opening allows me to get the scavengers quickly, which is important. Ah, a bike rush against my no half strategy. You love to see it. Should actually, I should have sent the rifles on because he might go bike half. If he goes bike half, then I should have sent my rifles uh, at his harvester spot. I could have maybe blocked it out. It would have been huge. It's funny how you can get the lock on and shoot against a unit um, like that and yet not get the money like because the unit is two tiles away even though you've locked on and shot. I think he is Harvester and I don't think we can beat Buggy Spam. I believe that is going to be basically an unwinnable matchup because <laughs> like he just like Buggy is just such an ultra efficient unit and you only really win with no half by your units being more efficient. Which doesn't work against buggies. Although he did just he did just mess up his blocks. Let's see if he's got a harvester, I guess. He does not. Interesting. Okay, if he doesn't have a harvester, we are we're okay. Because then he spent all his money on buggies. Like they're really expensive. There's no way he can afford to keep up if he doesn't have the, the buggies anymore. Alright, this is really bad for our opponent then. He might try and build a half. Which we should be prepared for. Like, given how long there's been nothing. Oh, wow. My man's just trying to play Flamers in no half. That is a bold plan right there. I don't think that's going to work out for him very well. In fact, I believe the game is now over. 
If he was if he was harvester buggy spam, I don't think I could beat it. Because it's just too many buggies. But no hard buggy spam, that's not that many buggies. Dennis again. Right, well we know he's playing MG. I might just go for a buggy opening. Buggy opening is pretty good against MG. He'll probably just go Pitbull now. If this was again, if this was like a real match where I needed to win, I'd just make a harvester. going pretty well. I assume the Seth Drill Pod can kill the MG. Otherwise, I'd be a little surprised. Yeah, it just does about. It's actually pretty close. I, like, trade it off, which is kind of nuts. Alright, let's go. No hard nod. Smashing it. It should be noted that our opponent is, has come into chat to, to talk about how much lag he has. It's just, so, just so you guys know, if you're watching this, opponent is only losing because he has lag. General X. No, sorry, General XX. Interesting. We'll go double rifle, we'll fight the wheels. Then we'll bring the scavenger in like we did against the other guy that went wheel opening. It's like exactly the same as the previous game. It's like exactly how it went. Fanatics, is this the same guy? It's like exactly the same opening and he has Fanatics. I don't remember if the other guy had Buggy though. Gonna let this wheel die next to my scavenger here. Alright, cool. That was the wrong unit. That was meant to be a wheel. Well, I think I've got this missile, so it should be fine. Alright, cool. 
Definitely need some more wheels though. I need to avoid making the buggies. I think the buggies are too expensive. So we try to make wheels instead. Obelisk? Oh my god. Okay. That's, uh, that's expensive. Spam lasers for a bit. Lasers are one of the best things I can spam against Obelisk because they have a lot of squad members and they're cheap. And I don't want to. I don't want to make my drill pod into this Obelisk. All right, there goes the Obelisk. Now we'll drill pod this fanatic. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now we just need some bikes. Lots of bikes. We need a lot of bikes here. Yay! Absolutely smashed it, boys. No half nod, reigning supreme. You are victorious, control. Dennis again. This time playing Nod. How is that possible? Didn't see that coming. It's gonna be a little tricky since he knows what we're playing. If he just goes buggy opening spam buggy, we might be in trouble. Some lasers here. I'll just use one scavenger for money purposes. If he's like hard countering us, he'll have he'll have um what's it called? Uh Chuggy is the unit that is like absolutely impossible for me to deal with. Although bike spam is an issue. Very nice. Reasonable start. Boo! <laughs> so lame. Tank also could be a problem. Tank is a pretty powerful unit. Yeah, his, his deck counters mine pretty hard now. I guess he got sick of losing with no half MG. Uh. Yo, why are more my units off the pads? Oh, I'm out of money. I think it's over. Yeah, I'm just I'm literally on zero. Like I actually can't make a unit. All right, we're done. That's that's a uh, that's a pretty pretty tough matchup. Pretty much like any any just meta deck is a really, is a really tough matchup. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. To do some custom mirror matches, why and with whom? I'm fine with this exchange. Oh, I should have moved my scavenger to get the ten. This is misplay. 
Ah, oh, Chuggy. Chuggy is a Chuggy is a big issue. Chuggy obliterates this deck. Anything like Razorback also just smashes it. Anything that can just like walk in and crush lasers and missiles is a massive problem for no half decks because you really are relying on the power level of those units to win games. All right, just making bank over here. I'd love to see it. Gonna make some more wheels. This one scavenger has made me quite a lot of money now. Send him up here. I haven't really got much to do with the money again. Like, we're at the, we haven't really got the payoff unit. I guess we can just spam bikes until we win now. With the extra pop cap, like, just spamming units is obviously pretty good. And we have the Seth, so we can go, like, plus two pop cap on our opponent. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, H2 was kind of fine. Um, yeah, the deck's not great, but you can definitely get some wins with it. But yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, like what Raging Tron did is how you beat Nohav. This is this is like this is like the the quintessential how to beat Nohav strategy. Um, you just don't engage them early, and then you just spam expensive units they can't beat. Like he just makes like a bunch of Orcas and Razorbacks. I can never beat that with Nohav. I maybe should have Banshee in my deck, but a third building with Nohav is is not really reasonable. Um, maybe you could try Banshee and Venom instead of Bike and Buggy. That actually might be better. Like, if you did no half, but you just did the Air Tower. The problem is the Air Tower costs 50, which is a lot. Like, the extra 10 is a big deal. But you could do something like this for no half. I don't know what your last unit would even be. Maybe, like, some random-ass payoff unit, like an Inferno. In case you end up with a ton of money, you can get an expensive unit. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it actually would be better. I haven't really tried enough. No half to say. I think the laser and scavenger is good though. Like scavenger early for make some money, but then you need laser because it's actually a decent unit. Scarab. Scarab is not completely insane, actually. Um, a well microed scarab can be pretty good for like delaying. And delaying is something that no half is interested in doing because they want to win the game quickly. So if you stop your opponent from interacting with the pads, um, you can charge faster. The Scarab is interesting. Scarab maybe is worth it. Anyway, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed some Nohav Nod, and I'll see you all next time.